Jim, this time last year, we took the polar plunge into the Kentucky Lake to help raise money for the Special Olympics. And it seemed like it took a month to finally defrost from our winter swim, but it was well worth it. In fact, it was so effective in raising money that I've signed you up for this year's polar plunge. Um, don't you mean you signed us up, Jim? Well, yes. And before we dip our toes into the icy Kentucky Lake, we sat down with Laura Miller, Special Olympic Coordinator for Callaway County, to find out why so many people volunteer to go jump in a lake. Laura, it's polar plunge time again, and last year was such a huge success. I'm sure that enthusiasm is built into uh, you incorporating that into this, year, this year's plans. Yes, definitely. It's a, it's a little intimidating when you have such a huge success one year, but the excitement, like you said, is just building. We've got great media support, and it seems to be a lot of buzz around it in all of Western Kentucky, not just this area. So that's that's really exciting as well. Last year from previous year, I think you almost doubled in participants and money raised, didn't you? We went from 174, I believe, to 300, almost 400, 370 some odd, I believe. So. What types of uh, new ideas or uh, new promotional initiatives did you carry forward from last year's event to into this year? Well, um, we again have the great media coverage through WKYQ and, and some of the Bristol stations. Um, we've gotten a deal with the subway stores. So 20 um, Western Kentucky subways are promoting the plunge for us and they are selling polar bear icons so everybody can visit their subway store yeah. and support Special Olympics. And we've just really been able to diversify our committee. We're get, able to get into Murray State a little bit more, you know, and some of the other major areas and, and we're just broadening. And I guess because you've had folks that have actually lived through this event for uh, three times, you're probably getting more people that are less afraid and more interested in taking the plunge. Yeah, too. word of mouth has definitely been key. We, of course, send out a survey on how to improve each year, and most every survey we got back, they all said they would definitely come back this year. So I'm, I'm holding them to it. Going to be, uh, and it's on February 4 this year, right? Yep, February 4th, so it's a little bit earlier in February than normal. But and be at the same location, too, this time? Same location, Kentucky Dam Village. We'll uh, meet at the um, convention center, and then we'll take the plunge off the courtesy dock there right outside the lodge. Now, this is just one of the Special Olympic events that happen in this area. I know you chair this event, but also uh, you're responsible for overseeing some of the other activities that go here. And this spring, we'll have another Special Olympics event. That's right. We get to host a huge, our Area 1 track and field event. So that's really big for us. And luckily, we got to bring it back to Murray State last year. So that was exciting to get more um, students involved and faculty involved because a lot of them come from those education departments and social services. So it gives the students great hands-on experience as well. There is a great tradition at the university in Murray, too. There's just been lots of families and, and lots of athletes that have been able to be a part of that that I know have been special memories for those students and people here for a long time. Yeah, that's right. That's right. They were real excited last year to get the Murray State football team really came out and they helped be the ambassadors and were paired up with each different delegation. And, and I know a lot of uh, the feedback from that was, you know, the, of course, they loved the athletes helping out the athletes yeah. and it was really exciting for them. Are there volunteer opportunities and sponsorship opportunities for uh, folks for that too, Laura? Oh, yes, yes. Like you said, it's gonna be in April, April 28th, and so as soon as I wrap up this plunge, then we'll start thinking you know, towards the track and field, but yeah, we need people to help be uh, just basically cheerleaders, and then we need timers and measurers and awards, you know, people to help with the award ceremony, and there's lots to do. So we encourage people to give me a call, and I will definitely set them up with a job. And there's no arm twisting or anything that you have to worry about jumping into cold water or anything on that event. You just Not need good help, right? Yeah. No, it was a little cool last year, if you'll remember. I, I did have to make some emergency runs to Walmart yes. to get yeah. some, some gloves and hats, but um, hopefully yeah. it will be a much warmer event. Both impactful events, Laura. Thank you for what you do for those events and what role you play here in the community of mobilizing folks to be a part of such an important initiative. Yeah, well, it's very rewarding, so I'm glad I'm able to serve. Absolutely. We'll see you on the 4th. Yes, sir. Great.